Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we've got this fluorescent light and only one of the bulbs is working. Now I know both bulbs are good because I can put this bulb into that one and it works. So let's take this thing apart and see if we can fix it because we've got two more sets here I think out of three we should be able to get at least one good set right stick with me and let's do this together I, I believe up inside here there's like uh, I don't know if they call them a ballast or a capacitor, but I believe up inside here on each end, there's one, one that, one that operates one side, and on the other end it operates the other. There's these little clips here that we're going to have to try to take these out and get this cap off of here, and let's see what's inside there. Um, let me get the bulbs out. Okay, so the cords on the left-hand side here so the one farthest away from us that'll be the good one so let's uh, let's start and let's take this one off of here this cap off and let's see what we're what we're looking at if you hear something running in the background it's my little heater it's pretty cold in the garage today so I huh, lost the camera okay so anyway let's uh, uh so I sat up selling stuff for three days, so anyway, I did pretty good yesterday. For being a Monday, I made $8, so <laughs> alright guys, let me get you on the stand and let's see what we can do with this thing. Okay, so it looks like we've got four of these little tabs. We're going to try to try to get these tabs unclipped now I'm not sure how I'm going to do this um, but let me back you out a little bit okay these can be these can be tricky. Now I've never had one of these apart, but I know anything to do with tabs can be tricky. I may not even be doing it right, so I'm not sure. make them to where you're not supposed to take them apart but we're going to try to get it apart let me study this and then uh, I'll kick you back on as soon as I figure out how them come out I don't think you're supposed to take them apart because you're not supposed to repair these but <clears throat> this is Shea Bear 1000 we're going to we're going to try to fix it, so let me see if I can get this apart, and then I'll show you how I did it. Now, before I take this apart, I want to show you something down here. See how nice that is? Nice and flat and clean. Well, somewhat clean. Now, on this side, can you see that? Let me turn the light off. Maybe that'll help. See how it's kind of bubbled up, kind of melted? I'm guessing whatever the issue is, is underneath this. So i got to figure out how to get this off. So I can figure out what's underneath that. So let me do that, and then I'll show you more. Okay, so I got it out. And yes, you got all, it, all that's holding it in is these clips. 
and that makes it tight and you got those two one on each side there holds that in they are a pain okay they're a pain in the ass but if you work with them you can get them to come out now this looks like yeah this thing here looks like we need to take that out um, because it looks like it's been hot and that being hot like that I'm guessing is the reason this is not working so I'm going to try to pull this out so it looks like soldered on here to this black wire and to this white wire so all I'm going to do is I'm going to clip that and get my cutters so I'm going to clip this right here like I said I'm just guessing I could be taking the wrong one out but we'll see alright now try to pull this out of here and then I'll take one out of the other one the same way I did this one but like I said the only anything that's holding it in here are these clips so just uh, just work with them clips and you can get them out now I don't recommend doing this this is not really how to it's just what I am doing trying to make a couple lights work I mean they're just soldered on from the factory just the same way I'm going to put them back let me grab a pair of pliers here. and the reason why it's not coming out real easy is because that plastic is melted let me get you Whoops. that plastic is melted right there see right down in there that's why it's not wanting to come out so let me back you back out a little bit yeah see this is the issue here see how it's all It's all melted kind of split open there so I'll have to find the uh, one of the good ones off the other one off of one of the other light and we'll get it stuffed down in here and we'll get it soldered back on I've got my soldering iron over there heating up and we should be good to go so let me get the other one out as soon as I get the other one out We'll commence to soldering the new one in. Well, it's not new, but the good one in. And we'll go from there. Now, this light, as you can see, remember they used to have a big black box in here? That was called your ballast. Now, I'm not sure if they still call this a ballast or if this is a uh, uh, capacitor, but I'm guessing it takes the place of the ballast. So that way you don't need a starter. Remember the little silver things you could put in and turn them and they were starters uh, they don't make them like that anymore so let me get the other one out and we'll go from there alright guys here's the good one out of one of the other uh, lights I had to change the tip on this thing because my other tip was like it's the tip itself like melted or something I don't know let's see if we can Use this tip. Try to get some of this old solder off of here. I was hoping maybe I could use some of it. They 
they kind of had had it bent over. Like that. Go ahead and crimp these together and we'll drop some solder down on it. Tinge that. There we go. need one of them um, or make one of them alligator clip things you know that hold stuff for you there's that one now gotta get this one soldered down into here. Let's see. Oops. Let me let that cool down for a second. Alright, now let's get this shoved back down in here. Well, it sure came out a lot harder than that, didn't it? Right. Now I want to clip. I'm going to slide this up on there like that. Alright, now we need to get it back, put back in there. But first, we've got to get this put on. Let me back you up now. like that. Then this. Slides up in here. Oops. Almost forgot guys. You almost let me forget. Why you let me do that stuff? Sounded like it clipped in. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, it's in. All right. Now, <laughs> let's see together. Watch one of these bulbs will be burned out and I'll forget which one it is. I remember it was this one, it wasn't working.
ねえ。私は、この棒を入れて、これを入れて、これを入れて、But they're enough to work, and then when I walk away, one of them's gonna fall out, but shatter all over the garage or whatever. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead. I've got the plug here. I'm gonna plug it in. See if we fixed it. Apparently not. Here we did. Looks like this is a bad bulb. So let me change. Let me change the bulb. Now they're a little cold. This one lit right up. This one might be a faulty bulb, but we got them both working. Sometimes, if you rub them, put some heat on them, they'll kick on. So I don't like when they when they flicker like that. So let me try another bulb. I got a couple more over here. Right, let me try another bulb in this one. I hate when they flash like that. But anyway, it is fixed. Could just be a bad bulb. Try another ball. Or they could be a little cold. There it is. Didn't have an end ring. Alright, so that's better. There we go. Not bad. Um, so, what I'm going to do. Wow, this camera is really weird when it comes to these lights. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, that one don't have a problem. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to move this light, and I'm going to turn it long ways, like this. And I'll probably put it over here. And I'll put, like, this one here long ways right about in here and one of the ones because I had okay so now I've got this one over here but I don't have another you know another one of these for it so I'm just gonna clean that wall off of all the spider webs and I'm gonna put it up there kinda like at caddy corner and I'll have the one light shining down onto my bench here so that'll be cool I'll have plenty of light boy this camera you guys seeing that how it's like turning yellow I don't I suppose my camera's screwing up now because it ain't doing it on the other one I don't know maybe it's because of the light but anyway there you go we fixed it so that's how you fix one of these lights uh, never done it before, but I figured what the hell uh, There can't be that much wrong with them and when I seen that melted part I knew there was something in there that wasn't right now We get get to go figure out what's wrong with that. I won't take take you with me because it's cold outside uh, It's only like 68 or 69 No 58 or 59 Okay, and I'll figure out what's going on with that camera. I'll take another camera out plug it in and if it's the cables it's going to suck because remember when I had to get up in the attic and curl back in that hole that'll suck um, but anyway we'll, I'll just have to see what's wrong with it so thanks for watching guys I appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man a legend um, 
I'll show you after I get the lights hung the way I want. I may do that today, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done with that. Okay? Alright guys, so here we go. Here's the light switch. I'm going to flip the light switch on. There you are. There's that one. Still got that one. I'm going to do away with it. I'll probably put another uh, fluorescent one right there. So, and I put, this one's a little brighter, it looks like to me, than this one, though it's a low, lower wattage. That's okay because she can do her laundry there. So, pretty cool, huh? There you go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Y'all take care.